Sultan? Yes. Do you ever cook? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> since, yeah, my wife was pregnant and she was, it's, uh, it's, well, it was a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to learn something. Yeah, I cook, but not as my wife cook. Uh. Yeah. You make it so good. Mm. I recommended you for a restaurant to start in Lincher. Mm. Yeah, but the bars can't be the something in the So I must do B. She must to be the boss or I must to be. It's weird. Yeah. She will be the boss. <laughs> 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 You have to learn. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how did you meet us? Oh, we yeah. have a very good friendship <laughs> since we were in an <laughs> island. Oh, oh. And we and uh, get fleet from... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, we met here. Yeah, met here and then, oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. In the island, so, and then we... A night I was with my brother at the evening. We stood in front of the mosque. Two person with a slip. I don't know slip like this. They put a slip over there that we don't see them. And then it reads, if you don't go out from there, if your brother, brother doesn't help me, and then we will kill you. You know? Unfortunately, a night has come. It was so hard. They killed. I was asleep just, I don't know. Some people killed my brother. It was so hard. The friend of my brother took me at the night by smuggling and carried me to Iran. And then he said, If he, they see you, they will kill you. I'm still young, but you know, I seem to be so old because a burden of problem is in my shoulder. I must shoulder the responsibility. I must save my family. I must uh, rescue from the danger my family, from the fear of being killed, from the fear of being threatened. I must rescue them. And then I, I decide with my wife that, okay. There's no way for me. There's no way to remain for me. Just we must suicide ourselves and we can't go by smuggling. May we be rescued, may we not rescued. If we be rescued, we we have a good future for our child. If we don't be rescued, finish. Everything is finished. I have no way to go back of course. No way. There's no way for me. At the end I come by smuggling too. Turkey and then coming to Greece. We were in 20 person in one boat in a very bad situation. We were going to sing. In a miracle situation, we have been saved. At the end, when we arrived in the beach, all of my family, my friends, my family was so happy that we are still alive. We are alive. We are alive. Yes. 
if I'm human, I must help someone. Someone can is here that help me. If I help them, they will help me. My plan is that, that I want to go to Sweden. I don't know how, by foot, but there's no way, by smugglers, by smugglers. When we arrived to Sweden, I don't know, doesn't they take us? Did they save us or not? I'm not sure still. Whenever they take me and then I think I'm alive, I'm human. Otherwise, still I'm not human. My name is Benjamin. I work as a teacher here in Sweden. I work um, with I mean, immigrants who come to Sweden. So I learn, I mean, teach them my mother language. And uh, like, it's super interesting. People who come here, that they need to come to another place. So I'm here to help them and to get integrated in Sweden. So I meet a lot of students. I mean, I met Sultan, that is, I mean, one of the best. I mean, like, he's really good. He's a, he should say he's the, the best, but you know, it's one guy that you, I mean, come the first day, that you really start to like, and he's really into learning Swedish. Till example, I ja, come from Afghanistan, I have seen a film, then uh, they come from Tyskland or Glickland, and they come, they have a short film, it's called Father. Father. Father, like uh, yeah. Papa? Yeah, the father. That the first, I really appreciate the guys that helped me too much. Since I've been in Sweden, uh, I was searching 
to do something like a kind of film and then I meet the first time uh, lots of guys like yeah. so when I start to going f to film I meet anger and then anger well present me the color and then we start film and then I was writing and then anger was helping for the screen and I was thinking but uh, yeah and then they helped me and then we select a part of that scene and then we shoot it. I met Sultan when he came to the church. We had a group for refugees and we talked about the experience from the escape and how to come to a new country and all that. And then you asked me if I knew someone in Norrköping that works with film. And you have this idea with uh, the father. Yeah. As you say, the crazy father. But yeah. <laughs> the father full of emotions. Yeah. The story is the father has lost three members of family and then and during journey from the Turkey to Greece he d d her daughter has been disappeared he get trauma and he's just playing with the doll yeah mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and he thinks imaginary he's living imaginary illusionary you have lots of connections as you have been yeah. here two years and you have more connections now than I had in all my life also yeah in films Sultan contacted me and told me he wanted to make a movie about a traumatized father and I was very captured by his story and I could see it meant a lot to him to tell this story and I tried to help him in every way I could and the uh, Sultan brought the script or a synopsis first of course and then the script and I think it's great and I put him together with some filmmakers here in Norrköping and uh, this autumn we were shooting the picture. I was introduced to Sultan by Inger and I didn't know anything. But my job uh, as a teacher in school, I work with the immigrants coming to Sweden. For me it was maybe 50% like uh, pedagogical work and 50% interesting story from Sultan's side. So it was two pieces, at least two pieces. Um, that was the... And then I think it's, a, it's an interesting story. I think it's an interesting story. The first time we met, I didn't real, realize that the story was about Sultan's own background. Uh, and I didn't meet the Sultan as a refugee. I, I met him as an aspiring mm. filmmaker. Yeah. If I would come to another country, and I have an idea about doing something, but I don't have any contacts, I don't know who to speak to, so then I would like to have somebody that would help me. So maybe that's what I saw in Sultan, that he has a lots of ideas and a story, but he has nobody to speak to. And Inger was one, I was one, and now we helped Sultan to make a film, and now the film is ready, and it's like a small baby, and now you give this baby away, and let's see if this baby grew up or not. I think this is a nice uh, example of how you can help. Maybe not finding a home or a house or like a roof to live under, but I mean doing something, getting involved in society. And for Sultan it was important to make a film, for somebody else it's important to play, play a football game, for somebody else it's important to learn how to swim. I mean, but get people involved so they are a part of society, that's the most important thing. It's a very universal story and you can, with this background, you can maybe get some relief from watching the movie and I think in general it's of course it's very powerful to write your story down or use the pictures or draw things. I think it's, you have to let it out somehow. A Sweden is going to be our home. Home is not only can see a wood or a stone, home means that I can feel safe. This is a safe place for me, for my kids, for my wife, and we feel every calmness, quietness, and we feel peace. Uh, I remember when you were sitting in my car and showed me you mobile with all these pictures, mm. and it was a special situation. You were waiting for the letter from Migration Camp mm. to uh, if you would stay or not stay. And uh, in a couple of days, you got this letter, and you phoned me and said, "No, 
it will have to go away. Yeah. And this was just before Christmas. But we said that it's impossible to send you away <laughs> Christmas with a pregnant. Yeah. It's like a story in itself, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's a story <laughs> two times. It yeah. tries story also. Yeah. Send you away to Hungary yeah. with a pregnant wife in eight month. Yeah. So we help you to refuse. <laughs> and then he said on the TV as on the radio news mm -hmm. that now they decided for all of you that came from Hungary at that time, it stopped. Yeah, hungry. So all was of you could stop stay in, staying here <laughs> in Sweden <laughs> until they have tried it, and you yeah. will have to. S you could stay. Yeah, there was a Christmas present. That was a, a really amazing for me. That <laughs> yeah, my wife was say, "Oh, now I feel ah, everything is fine," because it was a stressed. He was almost tired of the way they wrote and terrible journey, and then it was really since. We have heard this really terrible news, and then everything was be crazy for me. And then, ah, my wife, when it stopped by helping a few, oh yeah, I've never forget that day. I don't have uh, still any interview with the immigration office. I don't have any decision. I don't have any decision, but I'm allowed to do to work. My kids are allowed to study. At least if I don't experience of to be a child, my kids is gonna experience to be as a child in this country. But sometimes I'm thinking that what could the decision will be to me? Are they allowed me to stay in Sweden? If they allowed me, it will be perfect. And while I'm thinking that if they don't allow me to stay in Sweden, and I cannot fight any word in this case, because if they don't allow me to stay in Sweden, it means that I'm going to die.